Hey guys, we are out here with the Remoffit. This is a new kit, a uh, short kit I should say, from J&H Aerospace, designed by Bill Brown of Thermal Thumbers of Metro Atlanta. This was the 1999 Admiral William Moffat Trophy winner. The airplane has a pretty good record of winning. Uh, places, I uh, when I went to the 2008 Nats, I saw the late Ken Grubbs flying one of these and he took it to second place. Second or third, something like that. Um, just a very nice, pretty airplane, solid flyer, and it goes up right quick. So I am out here to get it uh, started with flying and whatnot. Have not done any test glides or anything. So what you're going to see is it. So plane here balanced at 60% cord per the plans. Let's see how it glides. Actually, a little uh, flat there. Interesting. Uh, we have an incident adjustment screw, so if on my second try here it still does that, we'll add in some incidents and we'll see where we go from there. So we'll give it another shove. Yeah, just a shade under elevated. All right, so we have an incident adjustment screw here. Yeah. Come on. There we go. There we go. And we'll try again. Alright, let's try again. Oh yeah. Just a little nose heavy. Alright. So we'll pop you loose. And come out. Shade more here. Now well, let's see. Oop, boxes. There we go. Oof, that was still a little harsh. Alright, give it another half turn out on that uh, incident screw. Eh, it's just a smidge more, I think. Alright, trying again. Another half turn. Oh, oh yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's try this once more, just to check. Yeah, I like that. You could probably use a little more, but I'm hesitant to mess with it too much yet. So, transmitter is going on. Patrick Sean Murphy doesn't know where Tyrann is, so I'm not going to At this point, pop the retainer band loose of the thermalizer. Plug in a 1S battery. Come on. Run there correctly. Close enough for now. And just for verification's sake, it does work. So now we'll wind her up.
disconnecting our crocket hook from my moral sidewander, which unfortunately those are not currently being manufactured. That was probably 100, 150 turns maybe. All right. There it goes. And very nice. And my dethermalizer needs a little help. Not bad. off a substantial one right there. Stall, big stall. And come on, we're coming down the quickie way. There we go. All right, so we saw some stalling under power there. Um, so I put a shim on top of the nose to eliminate that. And also the late uh, propeller fold um, it had fully unwound and then back one before the prop finally stopped. So I opened up the uh, tension screw a little bit, unscrewed it about a full turn, and so hopefully that'll make it uh, kick in at a lower, uh, sorry, at a higher uh, torque tension, and maybe that'll mitigate that problem. All right. Not ideal conditions, but why with what you got? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Get my. Uh, oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? Dethermalizer now. Funk. Alright, so we added. A side thrust shim there. Hopefully that'll help some things out. Also added a little incidence to try to get rid of that dive nonsense. And huge wind gusts, come on. I can stop anytime now. Alright, here it goes. Miss the tree. That's energetic. Come on, hurry up and fold. I got a DT you about now, buddy. Got to work on that tensioner. It is crap. All right, she glides good. And where's my DT? Crap. Well, that'll be a tree picker outer. Crap, I don't even know where it went now. Heard it hit. Oh, there it is. All right. Dang it. All right. It's back here somewhere. This should be a fun adventure. Not. At least we know a couple of things. One is the airplane's pretty much trimmed. 
because both climb and glide look excellent. Um, probably could back off a little on the down thrust because it is climbing a little flat. Uh, and the only other thing I see is, um, well, two other things I see is one, I need to keep an eye, get a telemetry receiver that lets me know what's up, and I need to get the tensioner correct on that stupid nose block. So, it is what it is. Well, I lucked out. Praise the Lord for this, because uh, I really didn't want to hike over there. And she's right here, which is perfect. So, first of all, I don't hear servo sound when I click my transmitter. Nada. So, I'm going with... It has a, Z, a dead battery. Yeah. Let's dig you out of here. Yeah. Oh, that'll be fun. Red. I hate repairing spars. Yeah. A little boy. Oh, a little boy. How about you carry Daddy's transmitter for him? For his screwed up airplane. Can you carry Daddy's transmitter? Yeah. Thank you. You know, we're still plugged in and everything, so... I think I just screwed up and let it discharge too far, so... Whoopsies. Well, that's a lot of shake, rattle, and roll. I can do without every dang last bit of that. And come on. DT now. I do not wish to pick it out of that tree. Why is it doing that? Okay, so uh, the propeller hub had broken loose somewhat from its glue joints there and was acting up. That originated with that uh, crash back there in the trees. So uh, I did a test flight off camera and suddenly it's flying like it's supposed to. Uh, which is to say spectacular. Also, I put a rubber band on the nose block. Hang on, it's not where it's supposed to be. Wait. Right there. I don't know if that even shows up. But uh, that'll prevent the nose block from falling off. Because it keeps falling off and I'm getting sick of it. So. Can do without the shake, rattle, and roll. Could climb a little higher, but it's not too bad. All right. Does the prop ever fold? Eventually. And we get a nice glide. I don't like where it's going, so... No, oh, it's turning. Good. We're going to wait until he gets back here. Well, I hope we are. There we go. Gonna fly right over us and then I'll DT it at that point. Oh, look at that. And perfect.
That's more like it. Alright, we're going to have to DT this prematurely, unfortunately. Right about there. It's just too dang high. Can't risk it. Still going in the trees, unfortunately. I'm glad I DT'd it when I did. It is way back there. Found it. Finally. Took forever to find it. But safe and sound. And so much good that sound did for me. I still couldn't find it. I just wandered around till I spotted it. This is crap. Absolute crap. I don't know if you can see that. Those are fire ants. Lots of fire ants. So I am guessing. Nah. I hate these things. Welcome to the south. Everything stings and bites. I'm guessing what they are after is not on the outside. Although, they don't mind what's on the outside. What they're really after is the rubber inside. Put on my tail. I hate fire ants. Utterly despiseth them. Yeah. If it weren't shaking so much, it'd climb faster. Alright, get ready, and... Now. Thank you. Hopefully it'll stay on our property. Maybe. Oh yeah. Or not. I don't know what it got stuck on. <laughs> well, we call it low power. Stay away from there. Much better. Oh, perfect. Alright, hit it. The camera is, I think it's rolling. Should be. Let's go. Oh, I lost it. There it is. Got it. Oh, I've lost it. I'm not doing very good as a photographer here. No, it's okay. It's not easy. Wow. Yeah, I ended up filming a bird. <laughs> they all look the same. Well, I missed that thermal somehow or another, but it's still doing good. Oh, now it's flying into it. Oh, that stall has started again. I bet that nose... Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.